while looking into Elon Musk's recent tweets, I came across this woman, Eva Kareen Bartlett. I don't know what her political influences are, but she is posting a whole bunch of small threads about war crimes committed by the Ukrainians. This apparently is her thread of supposed war crimes by the Ukrainians. As you can see, some of these are hard to look at. They are atrocities for sure. War crimes? I do not think so. I'm not sure if this woman understands what a war crime really is. Even if you take all these at face value and consider them all to be committed by the Ukrainians, none of them are what I wouldn't expect from a war. Are you under the assumption that nobody would be injured and that there would not be any collateral damage in a war where that both sides are using almost nothing but dumb bombs? You couldn't possibly think that every one of the shells would be on target. Let's flip to what I feel is war crimes. Let's talk about genocide. All I did is enter Ukrainian genocide into the YouTube search window, and this is what has come up. Without even looking at them, you can see that every major news outlet has a story about the Ukrainian genocide. Поэтому никакой украинской государственной символики быть не должно. Висят российские флаги, висит знамя победы. Мы проводим денацификацию. Займет ли она 15-20 лет или больше, ну, время покажет. В любом случае, те пассионарные бандеровцы, которые убежали в страны НАТО, либо куда-то еще, назад на территорию той страны, которая сегодня называется Украина, допускаться не должны. Это оставь вот эту вот раковую опухоль, немного хотя бы, и она все потом заразит, опять то же самое. Опять то же самое. Поэтому мы можем ее денацифицировать только на границе с Польшей. Все, других вариантов нет. Денацификация происходит не, не отбитием головы, так сказать, и расстрелом всех. В том всех. числе и отбитием и головы, от кстати души, говоря. В том числе и отбитием земли. головы. А вот денацификация как раз таки происходит, как правило, отбитием головы. Here the Russian doll says the only way to defeat Ukraine is by knocking their heads off. Parts of Russia are calling for the straight-up genocide of Ukraine. What more of a war crime could be considered? Daria Dugan, who was killed by the notorious car bomb, and her father are for the complete cleansing, as they would say, of Ukraine. And now for the one that hurts me most deeply, I think, and is the true brutality of war. The true war crimes, the torture and molestation of women. This just goes on for hundreds of videos from, again, every major news outlet. These are war crimes. Crimes of the war committed by the Russians against Ukraine over and over, sadder and sadder, unbelievable. It's truly unbelievable that people in the world are still held out from the reality of what is actually going on in the world right now. I looked at all the posts from Eva K. whatever her name is, and I couldn't really find any true war crimes. But if I just search Ukraine, I can find more and more and more and more. Is she trying to help Russia? What is her end goal? Check out Russia Media Monitor. You'll really get to hear what actual Russians say about Ukraine, the U.S., and the quote-unquote West.